What's up gamers? I hope you're having a great day or night no matter where you are. Welcome to the channel where you are always good enough. This video, I want to discuss my impressions of the new trailer for Atlas Fallen. I like action RPGs. Atlas Fallen looks to deliver plenty of action. You create your character and start your journey to restore the world of Atlas from the evil sun god Timos. Timos is a seriously bad dude who enslaved the world's population. The people are forced to mine for magical essence with Themos and his followers. Themos stole the people's resources, environments, even the name of the people. They are stripped of who they are and what they have known. Your character has discovered a power to fight back and liberate the people from this evil sun god. Starting off, the character creation looks pretty cool, as from the brief moment that I have seen from the trailer, there is enough re representation to create a character that fits close to your needs. It may not look exactly like you, but I believe players will be satisfied with their character given the choices. There are plenty of features to shape your character to make them unique. The trailer shows the stats that are going to shape your character to be an awesome destructive force. And they go like this. Number one, recovery. This will probably represent healing from injuries and absorb attack traits. Basically, when you hit an enemy and recover health. Number two, offense. How powerful your attacks will be on enemies and bosses. Number three, defense. How well you can take punishment. Number four, fortune. Luck. This probably means discovery of items, currencies, critical attacks, etc. And number five, shatter. What this means to me is the ability to stagger enemies and put them in a vulnerable state to dish out big damage. That is my guess. If there is more trailers or dev diaries, perhaps they will explain further. The new trailer also shows different armor types that you can discover, wear, and upgrade. Each with different stats that can be upgraded with essence stones. The trailer shows three upgrade slots so far with stat bonuses. The more you discover and fight, the stronger you can get which this means character builds. I love character builds. Discovering your playstyle, boosting up your stats and creating havoc. Awesome. Another cool thing about this game is liberating the world from bad guys and giving the population back some things that they lost. This is the town building part of things. The more you restore to the people, the better their lives will be and sometimes this means more for your character. If it works out like this, that will make the game even better. If you help the people, the people will help you out. This can lead to making resources easier to get, upgrading your armor, weapons, and even magic. You will also discover the history of the world of Atlas, so this means side quests. As long as they are not too annoying, this greatly improves the length of the game. City building is another awesome part of a good RPG. Now the enemies that I've seen on the trailer so far, they look pretty good. They are called Wraiths. Monsters put around the world by Teemos to make the population live in fear and obey and bid his uh, every command. You also have to deal with his followers. People who gave up fighting for freedom that now hunts down and enslaves people to do Teemos' bidding in exchange for more comforts in life. Each Wraith has weak this is where the shatter comes into play. Breaking down the enemy defenses, weakening them, and dealing big damage. They have small and big boss type monsters. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, and the more legendary loot they drop. The wraiths look cool. They look to be all types of wraiths, airborne and land walking. Maybe we might even see some underwater ones too. It looks to be to elemental enemies as well. During one of the scenes of the trailer, there is some ice looking type of monster. So that makes me wonder if the weapons can be powered with elements. 
combat. So far, there are three weapon types, and they all look cool. The cleaver, an axe type of weapon, a whip, and sand knuckles. In the trailer, they also show a spear and hammer, but these might be just attack types from those three uh, weapons. Each attack builds momentum to unleash a shatter attack. Each weapon can be powered by essence stones. There are over a hundred plus stones to suit your playstyle. You can find them throughout the world, grab them off enemies, and even craft some. That's definitely cool as this goes into more character building. Again, I think character builds are really fun. You can dodge, parry, and roll out of attacks. The action looks fluid as you can customize your fighting style. This game is also multiplayer. Games are better with friends. The trailer says the players can drop in and out of the game during the main story, so there's probably an online play uh, matchmaker system that you can pick players and you probably have friends lists as well. The traversal, in my opinion, looks cool too. The characters look cool gliding across the sands. The trailer also shows limited flying. This encourages discovery and travel. There's a lot to see and do. The overall world shows nice looking open map styles that are sand, lush greenery, and magical underground caves. I like what I saw as each looked cool. I'm not sure if these are open world, but the trailer again stresses exploration, so that should mean at least open world style maps. There's many secrets to discover and lands to restore to the people. Next is customization. It looks okay. You have different types of color options to dye your armor with. They also show different types of uh, armor. So each player that you come across looks different. Along with customizing your look, you can also customize the way you kind of fight with essence though. Customization looks fun, and to do that also makes a good RPG. Music, um, the impressions I got, I didn't hear much, but what I did hear, the music sounds good and matched the theme of the game. The sound effects promoted every bit of damage your character deals out in the trailer. Voice acting sounded good, and I want to know more about the world. Good job, Focus Entertainment and Deck 13. In closing, this trailer does a great job of getting you ready to defeat the evil sun god Teemos and restore peace to the Atlas world. I'm ready to do this, gamers. I hope that in addition to the main campaign, there will be downloadable content as this game has the potential to be huge. I can imagine new elemental enemies to challenge and defeat. What do you think of the new trailer, gamers? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like as this does help the channel. Thank you for watching. Remember to pray, pick up a controller, because it's always a great day to press start.